Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to, well, welcome to a new LP. And, uh, yeah, new LP. Woo! There's a logo we like. Alright, so I do have to say, uh, this LP is going to eventually be blind. But I've had so much trouble uh, kind of converting myself back to non-HD recording that uh, I had to play through the first couple levels. Um, the first two levels I have played, and I'm good at them. But after that, it will be blind, I promise. So let's start a new game. Wow, a vacation. We're finally taking a vacation. England. Greece. Arabia, Krakatoa, China, exotic ports of Paul. And we're not going to any of those places. Instead, we're here at a run-down old castle in the middle of nowhere. Well, I know you're disappointed, Robin, but we had to accompany Dr. Honeydew for the reading of his late uncle's will. It's important to be there for friends at a time like this. Oh, but I have a bad feeling about this, Uncle Kermit. I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. What's that? Relax, Robin. It's just a tree. Nothing to be af afraid of. <clears throat> nothing at all. I can't imagine anything living here except things that aren't alive anymore. No, no, Master Robin. Uncle Petrie had quite a flair for the dramatic, but I assure you we're perfectly safe. Ah, a monster! Are you all right, Master Robin? <laughs> Wake up again. Oh, what happened? The good news is that you, Beaker, Pepe, and myself are unharmed. What's the bad news? Unfortunately, your Uncle Kermit, Miss Piggy, and the others have been transformed into hideous monsters. Oh, no! See, oh, yes! We managed to escape, and I found my Uncle Petrie's secret lab. Did Beaker just now, talk? The Master's evil energy is permeating the entire village. Everything in the area is rapidly becoming evil. Evil, evil, evil. So what are we going to do? I'm so glad you asked me that question, my young friend. Here at Muppet Labs Europe, we have developed some special devices that will help you return our friends to their old selves and save the village to boot. First, this power glove is guaranteed to get even the most stubborn evil out of any monster. Once removed, the evil energy is stored in this clever backpack, lest it get back out into the world again. I must still be dizzy. It sounded like you said I would save everyone. The backpack and glove are designed specifically for the amphibian anatomy. Wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> Don't worry. They just We're call it out. Your journey. Beaky and I will monitor your status constantly. But I... I think you're forgetting someone again. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Pepe. My apologies. I will take it from here again. I, Pepe the King Prom, will be broadcasting from this convenient little transmitter here to tell you how to get around the village. When you see my face... I will have something to say that will help you out. Together, we will save Kermit again. Kermit? Your Uncle Kermit. Oh, Uncle Kermit. This is what I said, okay? Kermit. Oh, I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. You can do it, Master Robin. Your uncle and all of our friends need you. Well, I guess I could give it a try. Enough with the talking. Get on with the saving, okay? You're a tough frog again. You're a brave frog again. Get the monsters! Get the monsters! Go, 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 go! Good luck, Master Robin. I have good news again. Alright. So, this game was released for the PlayStation. The original PlayStation. Not the PlayStation 2. Uh, and 
has a lot in common with kind of games of its era. Uh, I have referred to it as a Spyro clone several times. This is the hub, okay? From here, you can access all of the entire worlds, okay? You must, however, have enough evil energy to open some levels. But you also need Muppet tokens to open new worlds for you to explore. Okay, so Castle Von Honeydew <clears throat> is the level we're on, or the world we're in, and Peacock Purgatory is our first level. And Hallways of Doom, Poker Faces, and uh, that, I believe, is the boss level. And we can't move the pointer past that. So let's just go into the first level. It will be a tutorial level. It's going to be a lot of Pepe explaining things to us. I will also explain some things to you because I've got a good hang or a good handle on how the game is played now. Uh, my first run through this for recording purposes took me five videos for the first two levels. My second took three videos for the first two levels. The hunt is on again. Okay, you must collect all of your morph powers before you can leave, okay? So hurry up and collect all those amulet pieces. Um, you must collect all of your morph, power, morph powers before you leave, okay? Oh, that's bad. Okay, so uh, you move around. Uh, R1 uh, runs. R2 and R, R and left 2 change the camera. X jumps. Circle spins like Crash Bandicoot. And Square shoots this power thing. So, uh, the reason I re often refer to this as a Spyro clone is because of the treasure collecting dynamic. Like, the idea that we're collecting evil energy, it's kind of like... Uh, it, it does have a lot of things in common with the Spyro games. So, it's, we're going to talk to Pepe a lot. As promised, I, Pepe, will be on the air to help you rescue Kerman and the rest of our friends. When you see my receiver... Come up and hear what I have to say. Don't be shy, okay? Don't be shy, okay? Anyway, so, uh, the peacocks in this level aren't enemies. They just run around. Get three more Waka Waka Werber Amulet pieces, and it will be time to climb, okay? I love the Waka Waka Werber. Trick or treat, okay? The pumpkin container is filled with evil energy you can collect if you shoot it. Or use just spin attack on it. All right, so the pumpkin is a container we can hit either way. The, all the containers are on this Hola. little tutorial bench. Or, I guess, plateau. This skull head is filled with much evil energy you can collect only if you use your spin attack again. These are, seriously, these are uh, very similar to, like, the treasure chests in Spyro and stuff. I don't know if we get a charge attack later. I know what powers we get in the first the two helmet, levels. Stick them up, okay? It only opens if you shoot it. Don't go and spin, you'll just get dizzy, okay? Alright. Yeah, if we spin it, it spins. Shoot it, it blows up. And there is a bonus system. If you collect all of these letters from around the level, it will spell bonus, okay? And something special will happen, okay? Those letters also spell Buson and Sonub. But I don't know what those words mean, okay? <laughs> I do like the humor in this game. I also, I really like the, the voice acting. And, uh, I, I... You only need two more pieces of the Werber amulet. Conceptually, as a Muppet's property, this thing is a lot of fun. All right, we missed treasure down here. The yellow ones are 10, so, and again, very similar to Spyro properties, which I know only from watching Hey Ryan, Let's Play, play them. Maybe he should play this. And you find three more Mutt Monster Amulet pieces, you'll be diving in the deep end again. All right, the heart is, oh, I should say, R1 lowers your bar. It shows the Muppets amulets you've collected. Uh, it shows the uh, it shows your life. You have three lives, and we have, we can take three hits. That's what the hearts are for. Um, it shows how much you know. We're fifteen percent complete and stuff. All right, he'll tell us we can swim. We can't dive though. You should jump in and swim around, okay? 
So you can. You can you can jump in and you can swim. But what you can't do, you can't dive until you get the muck monster in there. Really? We can get up here. We can. There we go. I was gonna say. Been up there before. Now there are 300 uh, evil energy pieces in this level. We're gonna be getting them all. I mean, we're gonna be trying to 100% this game as best we can. I don't know if there's an alternate ending for it. I don't know anything about it. I watched a little bit of like a, a walkthrough at one point. Do you only need one more piece of the Were Bear amulet? Uh, you know, I'm not actually too interested in getting the Were Bear amulet as soon as possible. I'm far more interested in clearing stuff out. Because getting the amulets are, are going to unlock powers, but they'll also move us around. Like, when you get an amulet, you will appear somewhere else where you can demonstrate your power. And that's great and everything. Except when you're trying to do a systematic clearing out of levels. Then it's a pain. I know where the last piece of the amulet is. Because I had problems with it in my second recording. Again, this will be blind after these two levels. That flying heart refills one of our, our hits. So here we go. There's It's two for those. That's a five. That's a ten. There is a one. Collect all four Nosferatu Amjulet pieces, and you'll be a flying frog in no time, okay? You have to get... You can't open the level without getting the Nosferatu pieces, and you can't get the Nosferatu pieces without getting the Muck Monster pieces. You can't get the Muck Monster pieces without getting all the Waka Werebear pieces. So the level was designed really well uh, to make sure you got all of your powers in this level. Well, Because you're going to need them all. Uh, further on in the game. They're they're incredibly useful powers. Alright, there's our first Muppet amulet. And this is actually the level exit behind us, so. Alright, well we're like a third of the way done with the level. Okay, so let's go around and see what we can get to over here. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. Really? All right. Nice. The enemies look very Spyro-ish as well. All right. What do we got for time? 13 minutes? Well, let's go get this. And uh, talk to Peppy. Did you need a little pick me up during the game? Try standing on one of these super jump pads, okay? In the words of James Brown, get up, get on up, okay? Get up, get on up, okay? <laughs> well, he didn't say the okay part, but uh, do you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> I like that. That's a lot of fun. Super jump really super jumps us. Hola. Oh, and we missed! I'm a little amazed that we don't need uh, the heart pickup yet. All right, got that. Oh. Do you only need two more pieces of the Nosferatu amulet, okay? All right, let's get this taken care of, and then we'll stop the video. This is a switch, okay? This and others like it can do mucho things, okay? From opening doors to changing the world around you. All right. Fantastic. Oh, 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 oh. Do you only need one more piece of the Nosferatu amulet? <laughs> now this thing, we can't do anything to because it relies on this. So there you go. <laughs> Congratulations! You have collected enough evil energy to open the next level, okay? Alright, when we come back, uh, finishing off this level. You guys take care, and bye everybody.